Now, the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, has issued a directive to all professional bodies, including the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana and the Ghana Bar Association, among others, to demand tax clearance certificates from members before granting renewal of operating licenses. This directive, according to sources, is in line with the Tax Administration Act, which enjoins professional bodies to make this a requirement for reviewing taxes and licenses. Joining me in the studio with details of this directive is my colleague, Norwan Aqua Hayter. Norwan, what more is in this directive? Okay, so, uh, Boje, the directive is that uh, references made specifically, and I want to just read portions of the directive that was issued to the professional uh, bodies. It says reference is made specifically to the first schedule part two of the Revenue Administration Act, which states that professional bodies are to make this a requirement for renewal of practicing licenses or governing councils of professional bodies such as lawyers, accountants, directors, engineers, architects, mm -hmm. and others are to ensure that you know they enforce this particular law or they comply with it. And then the, 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 do, uh, the document does say that failure to comply with this provision is an offense punishable by law and strictly enforced by the GRA. What does the GRA seek to achieve, or what is it seeking to achieve out of this directive? I think that um, what the GRA wants to do at the moment is mm. to help mobilize more revenue. And they are looking to ensure that they close all the loopholes with regards to you know, revenue generation in this country. So at, at the end of the day, if you're going to have all the professional bodies also enforcing this for and on behalf of the GRA, then it, it means that anybody, any chartered accountancy you know, firm would ensure that they would have paid their taxes and they'll be issued a clearance certificate which would and help them to get the renewal licenses this year. From Is, is the a body bodies. like the GJA exempted from this? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I think that when it comes to GJA, mm. I mean, uh, they as an organization, we are members, but what you see is that we belong to various organizations. We are supposed to be collecting the uh, end of year assessment forms, filling them, because for me, the PYE is paid for and on behalf of me by the company that I'm working with. So Multimedia Group is mm -hmm. ensuring that they pay the taxes for, okay. for, for me. So that is not much of a problem. But then, you know, you have various, you know, companies, you know, hospitals. Mm. They belong to the Ghana Health, uh, Ghana uh, Medical Association. You have various other individuals, and they want to ensure that all these people pay uh, uh, the, taxes. Uh, the taxes that they have to pay. I think that is, is a good thing for the GRA to be doing that, ensuring that all the loopholes are blocked and we raise enough revenue right. to take care of the expansion, whether infrastructure or building of schools or, yeah. you know, uh, free SHS, whatever it is that the government wants to do. We need money to be able to do these things. All right, so since you're here, what is the latest with the GRE and the operation of the new port system, Unipass? I interestingly, um, Abadji, when it comes to um, the new port system, mm -hmm. we managed to get hold of a document okay. that was written on the 2nd of March uh, by the GRE commissioner. Uh, the undersigned person is Colonel Koju Damwa, who is the acting commissioner, customs division of the Ghana Revenue Authority. And uh, if you, 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 you would allow me just to read portions of it, it says that the implementation of the integrated customs management system at the land frontiers dated 2nd March is hereby released for immediate implementation. All sector commanders are to ensure that you know, this document copies just to all of them. But mm. one interesting statement that was made here, he said, for the avoidance of doubt, after they had gone on to talk about you know, what they are supposed to do and all that, he said, for the avoidance of doubt, the use of the current clearance system, which is the GCNet and mm. that of the West Blue. West Blue, shall be restricted to transactions that require previous customs declarations processed in those systems and any other declarations that is yet to be released. And you have a list of mm. the various areas you know, where they were looking at. Uh, they were looking at 16 posts or okay. 16 entry points in terms of the land borders that we have to ensure that this was. So they're looking at a Lubo collection point, Sunyani, uh, Gonokrum, Kofi Bedukrum, Wa collection point, Hamile, Bogatanga, Paga, uh, Kulungugu, Ho, uh, Kenu border, uh, Koglu border, Aplau, Kumasi, Kofodia, and Tamale. So they were looking at these areas, the entry points that were available. And I think that the explanation is very simple in this letter. It meant that mm -hmm. at Elubo mm -hmm. and then also at um, Aplao, what the GRE is saying is that if as of um, before the first, 
somebody had started the process. And you remember the uh, gift president did indicate yeah. that somebody might have started the process. You cannot just um, truncate it okay. and cut it off. So, so, so which is an indication that the West Blue system and the you know the other one it's are still, still running side by side. Yes, it's running. The it, from yes, the senior it's, minister. yeah. So it's running side by side, and mm. so it, it is that um, you know they were supposed to do it. Even and I, this morning I had mm. spoken to the uh, gifts president, and he did indicate to me that look, you know what, um, we still haven't seen the new system, and there's explanations to it. Okay. We understand that you see this letter was issued on the second. Now the. Customs officials mm. who are supposed to be the ones who man the system yeah. had been posted and most of them went to their various stations, we understand, on Sunday, which was on the 1st. Mm. Now, they need to be able to get their uh, credentials, which will allow them to go into to the system day. and man the new system that is available. Okay. We, we are told that by the GRA that, you know, at the moment, these things are happening and they are hoping that from... Tomorrow, uh, from Monday, mm. probably, and all things being equal, mm. Monday, the new system, people will then be directed to use the new system at these border entry points. 16 of them. Uh, yeah, 16 of them that we okay. have here. Don't forget that the senior minister had written about 42 of them. Exactly. But I mean, we're told that it's not every place that is very, very extremely active. Okay. But the few places that are very active, especially at Elubo and Aplau, I mean, they will be deploying the new system there. All right, hope you closely be monitoring the situation and bring us updates by next week. Sure, definitely. definitely. Thank you very much, Norman Aquahey Ford.